Now we need to think of a name for this variable name. So let's go back to ajax.js. Now you do this inside uh, curly brackets and the, uh, each value you send to this file is comma separated. So the first one we're going to, well, the only variable we're going to send is the string. So I'm going to uh, call the variable input and I'm going to make this equal to string. Now this might look a bit odd. Essentially this input here is what we would um, use in PHP to grab this. So input is the name of the variable that we've sent and string is obviously the variable we created earlier with the string data from this text field. So now that we've done that, um, we would, you, well, I mean, if we needed to supply additional parameters, we could say um, input to string to, something like that. So they'll, you'll comma separate every single value that you um, include. The third parameter is a callback function, which in this case is extremely important. Now, after we have sent the data to this file, this php forward slash reverse dot php file, we want to be able to return the data that's sent back from reverse.php. And in this case, we're reversing the string using the str rev function in PHP. So we need to create a callback function. And again, we create a block here, which we can pull just down and in here, it will make it easier to write the code. But we need to give this function a parameter and that's gonna equal the value that's returned by reverse.php. So in this case, I'm gonna write data. Now data will contain everything that is sent from reverse.php. So the, the output contents of reverse.php will then be stored inside data. So inside of our um, callback function here, what we can actually do is go ahead and put this data here into a div underneath here. So let's go and create a div. I'm gonna call this feedback. I'm going to end the div there. I'm obviously not going to write anything in there because uh, we're going to have um, jQuery handle that for us. So in, in ajax.js, what I want to do is I want to um, use a selector and I'm selecting the feedback div and then I'm going to say dot text and then in brackets, I'm going to write data. So let's just go ahead uh, and uh, explain again what we're doing. We're sending data to this file here we're sending a variable called input with the value string, which we've retrieved up here. We're then using a callback function and we're grabbing data here that's sent back from this reverse.php file. We're then putting this data inside the feedback div that we created on our index page. So hopefully that makes sense so far. Now what we're gonna do is test out um, our, uh, our HTTP request. Now at the moment, nothing really here um, is, is uh, useful because we haven't created any code inside reverse.php. However, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply come in, create some PHP tags and echo out test. Now what's gonna happen is despite the fact that we've sent this variable here, data will now contain the value test because we've echoed this out onto the page. The page contents will now become available in this data variable. So our feedback div will contain the value test. Let's go over to our page and uh, test this out. So despite what I type in here now, nothing's really going to you know, work because uh, we haven't created anything uh, interesting. Uh, we've just echoed out test from our PHP file. However, when I click go, you can see that the value test has been returned and placed inside that div. So now that we know that the HTTP request has worked, we need to work on the PHP file in order to manipulate this input and then re uh, return the reversed string. So the first thing we want to do is check if the variable is set. So we're gonna say if is set dollar underscore get and in here we need to supply the variable name and that is input, so input. So if that is set, we can go ahead and create a new variable and that's gonna be, um, that's gonna just grab this value here which we obviously have in get input. 
So this is going to be string is equal to dollar underscore get input. So now string is equal to um, the posted variable here, which comes originally from the text box. So now what we can do is echo str rev, which is a simple function that reverses a string, and we supply that with one parameter, which is the original string. So now what's going to happen is when we refresh our page and type something else in, I'm going to type my name and click go. You can see that PHP has returned the reversed version of what we originally typed in the text input field. So we now successfully performed a get HTTP request using jQuery. Now, like I've said in um, another part of this Ajax, these Ajax uh, jQuery tutorials, is that if we were to do this with Ajax on its own, pure Ajax, we would be writing um, a lot more lines than we are now. So although some of this looks complicated, uh, some of the syntax looks complicated, especially with these brackets uh, and this callback function here, hopefully the concept is understandable to you and you can now go ahead and start to test with this. In the next video, we're going to look at the uh, post HTTP request as well and a bit about why we might use that instead of get. But for now, we have created a short piece of code which sends data to the reverse.php file and then returns a reversed version of the string.